manufacturing. The constant neglect of agriculture is uh, disgruntled many uh, Tamilians. Their voice, they came here, they didn't even get an audience. Yeah. India has skills and it has skills everywhere. Right? I always say that uh, next to Satyagraha is the skill set development That's for right. India. Right. Because making thousands of lawyers who won't get a job, thousands of engineers exactly. who won't find a job. Instead, if you develop their skills, they can have their degree, but pursue their passion. Instead of me talking about other subjects generally, let me talk about where I come from, the film industry. But the number of training facilities, 200 jobs in, in air film, and there's no ITI for that. So, so, so what it is, right? is actually a disrespect of skills. You will not respect the person's skill and then say, okay, as the nation, how do we empower this person's skills? So I give you the example of Bellari, right? Which is the genes capital of India. Now, Bellari should be exporting genes to the rest of the world, should be exporting different types of genes, should be innovating on genes. Right? Bellari has been shut down because of demonetization and wrongly apply GST. And you've literally taken a hub which could challenge the Chinese across the world in making genes and you've destroyed it. It used to have four and a half lakh people working there, it now has 50,000. Like something like what you're doing with Khadi, right? I mean, who would know that that's a Khadi jacket? N nobody. Right? Uh, yeah, uh, more than the publicity of it, the reach of it. Exactly. And uh, Americans are loving it. And, and then you got, you got the history of Khadi, right? Because if you start to say, well, this is Khadi from the Indian Freedom Movement, this is made by yes. Indian people by hand, this is what fought a superpower, you can make a beautiful story out of it. Yes. Yeah. And it, it's not done in a modern factory. Yeah. It's done by people sitting in villages yeah. Yeah. and handmade. Exactly. You know, it, yeah. uh, I'm very happy and honored to be sort of partnering with these people who've been neglected. They're almost on the verge of closing down and going back, thanks to GST. So how many people now are, are working there? We have started, like we have not started a full-fledged tailoring system mm -hmm. because we don't have, we only have 12 outlets and mm -hmm. we can supply with a number of tailors. And, but the number of uh, weavers mm. are many. Right. They are in Telangana, Karim Nagar. Uh, in uh, we are uh, sourcing it. We, we are going even to Kutch and other places so that we can bring India together. So that's uh, it was very nice. It was very nice of you to come. I must say, I, I you know with all the situation and the BJP and sort of the the ability they have to coerce. I think it's also a brave thing. You know that's why no, uh, I think that's why he that's why he gave. Uh, he came up with that idea of the picture. No, no, we it's have. It's not easy. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm glad he thinks of me that way, but I still remember the speech by Gandhiji when he said, Shake the lion's mane, <laughs> for which he was incarcerated. Yeah. So we, we have the strength and ability, but I'm, I'm happy that you're meeting people, practicing jujitsu, <laughs> walking miles and miles and miles. It's, it's nice. And because you're doing exactly what Gandhiji did, to understand the nation before yeah. fighting for it. No, it's actually, it's quite a fantastic experience. I remember walking from Tamil Nadu into Kerala. It's completely different. Yeah. And as you said, it's changed, but then it's the same. So there's huge commonality and then there's huge difference. So that's the individuality of it. That's the plurality that we yeah. should not yeah. exactly. lose at all. Yeah. And I think a lot of what we traditionally have is also the artisan, the small and medium person, you know, the little clusters who have huge skill, but they are sort of hidden away, hidden treasures, so to speak. Yeah, I think it's very important that a government in position should bolster them, like farmers yeah. uh, during the uh, Gaja calamity. For them, after some time, party affiliations don't matter. Yeah. The calamity that they're facing is the pain is, is the, the most important thing. It doesn't matter. Yeah. And politicians always go and talk about the next election. Yeah. And their trajectory is towards that and that they don't like. Yeah. They don't they can't tend to 
take their eyes off it. Yeah. Politicians. I find that. And I get criticized a lot, you know, sometimes where they're like, oh, you know, he's not, you know, he's not election centric. I mean, um, I think, of course, one has to fight elections. One has to be uh, in politics. One has to take them seriously. But there's also another role of people. There's a role of bringing people together, of listening, of being affectionate. You know, that role, I think, is a very important role. What we have done through our party is that simply sort of wiped the dust away from the Gram Sabhas mm -hmm. and brought it back into... Now the, it's happening because mm -hmm. we are attending and now we want to take it into the towns. I think people should participate in politics, mm -hmm. not necessarily electoral politics yeah. only. Exactly. But they must have a firm say yeah. that politicians will have to understand it's not all about number crunching, that they'll have to answer certain things. And they people should also feel that I can vent hmm. or complain. I can say something and politicians should also feel that I, I can take some punishment. You know, I, he, he's shouting at me, okay, no problem. I did something wrong. I go and listen to what he's doing, what he's saying. I think that's, you know, people don't like criticism. I think, uh, I think criticism is a good thing. I think we are a very young democracy still, in spite of 75 years. Mm -hmm. The reminiscence of uh, the monarchy is yeah. still in our mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's, a very, that's a profound thing you've said. It's true. It's still, uh, they, they want loyalty. Yeah. And politicians who are in power want to somewhere behave like a yeah. king. Because we are not, it's not too far behind in history that we had princely states. 70 years, yeah. But I think if you look, a lot of sort of our chief ministers and leaders, the approach is that of a king. You know, you look, you're like unilateral decisions. I will do whatever I want, not taking into account what people feel, not listening. I think there's quite a lot of that. Yeah, and they are offended when you call them a civil servant. Yeah. I'm not a civil servant. Yeah. I, I'm in position, I'm in power. But that's what we are, ultimately. It should be a position of honor rather than... Exactly position to usurp. Yeah. The trustee idea of Mahatma Gandhi. Over the time, I'm looking for people who are at least a semblance of mm. that in them because it's unique. He's, he's a tall international figure. Yeah. And that we realize <laughs> when he's not there. Well, anyway, I don't, I won't keep you. No, no, keep I'm you. keeping it's, you. It's, it's lovely, lovely to see you. And whenever you're in Delhi, you know, next time, yeah. maybe we go and have a meal or something. Yeah, sure, yeah, sure. I'd love to do that. And I'd like you to look into our thing I've sent you. I will, you. I will. I'll give you, I'll and give you my And your, your measurement. I will 100%. Uh, we'd like to uh, dress you up. Okay, I'll do that. Thank okay. you.